this is a message to my black men and black women. Never, never let any other race try to hurt your people. Never. So we must start love one another. Which one of as we love ourselves. Really stand, up stand up and fight. Huh? Fight with all our might. Which black man is standing Never up for let our people? No one hurt my people? Where are they? There is any black man standing up for the black man? Put your hand up. He's crying out in the wilderness. That he's hungry. He ain't got no food. He ain't got no land. He have not no clothing. There's anybody standing up for the black man. Are we just trying to wait on the white man? Which one is it? Black man. I've been asking this question for the past 30 years. What are you going to do for the black man? Or what are you going to do for your people? Many black men are saying, He's not my people. He's not my brother. Listen. That's the point I reach now. The time has come. He's not your brother. He's not. If he's not your brother, who is he? Who is the black man to you? Who is the black man to you? Who is the woolly man to you? If he's not your people. We got to link up, you know, link up like a chain, so the chain cannot be broken by our strength, by our determination that we cannot let all the people take this planet away from us. It belonged to us. The water, the food, the trees, the four-footed beasts, and all the creatures belong to the black man. Because he can discern the stars, the moon, and the sun and he can tell what they're all about so we cannot let no other people come and take it away from us that's a no no oh you didn't hurt me huh you did not hurt nothing i said We can't let no other race of people take this away from us. And it seems like it's going to be slowly and surely. Because the European is moving into Africa slowly. They've been there for a long time. And they're doing it slowly. So they're going to overpower the black man soon or later by taking all the land away from him. Taking all the cattle away. Taking all the folds of the hairs away. 
taking all the fish of the ocean. The only person fighting is the Chinese. Because the white man is trying to take all the ocean away from the Chinese. Yeah, already took it away from the black man. He can fight. I've no guns, I've no dynamite. So I'm asking, what are you going to do for your people, black man? There is no answer. Because he's not going to fight. His fighting is with the Bible. Hello? The black man fighting is with the Bible. And who wrote the Bible? Come, and come up with your nonsense that the black man wrote it first. Keep on talking nonsense. This story has been changed. Can you hear me? This story has been changed. The writing has been changed by the white people. So stop speak nonsense. Are you going to do that for the rest of your life and your grandchildren's life? The time has come for the black black man. Are you going to do that for the rest of your life and your grandchildren's life? Time is come. Listen. Listen to me carefully. That messed up. That messed up so bad. We ain't got no food. We do not have any home. We do not have any land to plant the grains. And we also don't have no grain. What I'm saying to you, Russia just have a special military. Invasion. And Africa does not have any food. And Ukraine have food. You don't heard they saying Ukraine does not have any food? And the war is in Ukraine. There's a war in Africa from Ukraine. They have war among themselves. You don't see the United States getting up in there and trying to stop all these war. We have over 30 hot places in Africa. Palestine, Syria, Egypt. Nigeria, Libya, Yemen. Look, so many war in Africa right now and nobody is not doing anything. Who is nobody? The United States. Because he's the one that's going around with all his bully is him. And he's not trying to stop the wars in Africa. He wants black men to get killed up in there. The more they get killed, that's better for him. Huh? The more he get killed, it's all the better for him. Because he don't like you. And stop pretending the white man love you. From ancient time, he do not love you. He put cruelty onto your physical body. 
He tie you up. He torture you. He cut your testicle off. He work you from sun up to sun down. He's not in love with you. Read my mouth. I read my lips, as the president said. He's not in love with you. You is just a slave unto him. And your slavery needs is to work for him. And his God is not going to take you out of his slavery. So stop fooling around, man. Stop bullshitting. But by you can't overstand. You think this man is in love with you. And every time he kill one of you. Or one of us. You go in corners and cry. You go in corners and mumble among yourself. You don't say what can we do. To get this son of a bitch off our back. Are we going to have a conference and speak about the white man? Are we, have a, are we going to have a sit down with the white man and tell him what we need and what do we need? We need the land that he took away from us. And get the hell out of our property. Get the hell up out of our land. We don't need you in our land. Go back to the cold places and stay there. And get out of our land that is warm. All the warm land belongs to the black man. But if you cannot understand what I'm saying, there is nothing I can do. Because you're not listening to the people that is telling you the truth. You want to listen to how morality is. Immoralities, homosexual. You love those stories. You're not listening on how to get your land back from the white man and stopping him from killing your people. You don't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> You do not want to hear none of that because I'm speaking bad. Because all I can speak about is a white man. The white man do that and the white man do this. You don't want to hear that. You want to say they have not done anything. Because the preacher is putting the white man and the black man together in their churches now. That's the shit that is taking place. We are one people. So by you being one, one is white and one is black. It's okay to gather together. In that a bitch. The family of the white man that abuse your black man, you're mingling them together. I say, oh, everything is okay. That's what the preacher is doing. And that's what the school teachers are doing. Let's bungle them together. It's okay. Let them be together. They can't hurt you no more. And it's also going for the Chinese. The white men dropped the bomb on the Chinese and they said they are not Chinese. 
They get in love with the white man. So now they are protecting the white man from the rest of Chinese. The white men want to own the whole seas. The Caribbean, the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Black Seas, the Dead Sea. They want to own all of them. They want to say, yes, we are the conqueror of the all the ocean. The white men, the black men have no seas whatsoever. No ocean the black men have. Yes, he can't say shit. You know why he can't say nothing? Because he don't own none of the ocean. Come on, black man. So when you're going around and talking bullshit and dancing and happy and jumping around like you got some money in your pocket or you got a million acres of cattle or a million acres of corn, you're just wasting your time because we know you don't have that as a black man. Are you not trying to get it to feed your people? You care less. But as I said, watch the next show. And if I'm wrong, let me know. So I can correct my wrongness. And tell me the black man, white man is not your enemy. I want you to tell me that. And I want you to tell me the white man have not written this book. You call the Bible. And I want you to tell me the English is not for the white man long way. Respect.